Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, I grew up going to church. I mean, it was just an assumed activity for my family. There was never a question on Sunday what we were doing. We were going to church. And, and it was a gateway to my faith. I mean, it was at church that I learned who Jesus was and, and made the commitment to follow him as my Savior and Lord. But it was also a legalistic upbringing. Lots of rules. You know, rules like you can't drink alcohol, you can't work on Sunday, you have to dress up for church. And, and the people who taught me to read the Bible, um, I think, maybe missed a few verses in there. Uh, some of them are the verses today. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. The apostle writes, Therefore let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink, or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to to Christ. So Paul just says, don't let people judge you or shame you or criticize you in regards to legalistic, non-biblical rules. Did you catch that? In regard to legalistic, non-biblical rules. He talks about what you eat or drink or how you observe a Sabbath or any of those things. See, in Paul's day, it was about Sabbath observance and about kosher foods because the, you know, it was about Jewishness. You know, the church came out of the Jewish culture and the Jewish values and they were you know, having lots of Gentiles coming in, and so people were eating and drinking stuff that the Jews thought was profane, and they didn't observe the Sabbath the way the Jews did. And, and Paul says, look, don't let them judge you. Don't let them criticize you. Uh, he says, these are a shadow of the things to come. Jesus is the substance. Uh, Jesus is about freedom, by the way. He says, if the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. He said, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And he did that as he was breaking their Sabbath rules of healing people on the Sabbath. You see, God's rules are to bless us and protect us from self-destruction. That's why God tells us to do the things he does. Man's rules are to control behavior and try to prohibit immorality, which doesn't really work all that well. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is, you know, follow Jesus, obey the Bible, and live free. Let me say that again. Follow Jesus, obey the Bible, and live free because it's the best way, it's the blessed way, and it's the Jesus way. And I hope that blesses you today. Have a great one.